all right what's going on everyone and welcome back to more black desert my name is john and today i wanted to talk about something that i think people will be getting into whether you're a new player or you're looking to progress i think this is something that's not really talked about a lot but it's going to be helpful eventually so we're going to be talking about light stones and artifacts and the reason why is because they actually do give a huge chunk of stats but it's not something that's like reflected on your sheet thingy so it's kind of just overlooked but i do think they're important so whether you're a pvp or pve or life skiller um i just want to go over some things to talk about like what i think is important and keep in mind this is going to be more of like a personal preference thing so if you found some combination of light stones and artifacts that work for you i just use that one because uh, some are also expensive and some are you know like easier to get than the others so first of all um let's talk about where to get them and if you look at the monster zone thingy you'll probably see in some zones that they're like oh okay so they drop different ones and you're probably focusing on a specific one now in my experience just grinding all the spots just over the years of me playing this game i realized that the drop rate for focusing down individual uh artifacts are these things by the way is kind of slower than if you were to just grind for general ones so in my opinion the best place to go for uh artifacts in general is kratuga so let's see where is that um let me just actually do so this bot in particular drops basically every artifact that you can get um so to give you an actual reference let's say you're grinding at any spot looking for a one in three right chances are you'll probably get one artifact an hour maybe two whereas if you're grinding kratuga from my experience you get maybe like four to five yeah there's a bigger pool but then you also get more and then even if you get duplicates that you don't need you could use simple alchemy and just turn them into those um things you can sell in the market or just gives you a random light stone so overall i think in terms of profit this is definitely a better place to go so even if you don't get the right one you're still making silver along the way and overall more so katuga is just a good place to get it and let's talk about all of these artifacts right now so first of all how do you know what class you're playing and i know i made some sort of comment like this last time but it's more on the lines of if you look at your where is it uh somewhere okay over here if you don't know what kind of what is it combat type you are then you go to your character page hit the battle stats and it'll tell you so like combat type so if like you're magic that means you're going to be using magic accuracy magic ap and all that stuff if you're melee or arranged then you're going to be using the ranged ones see how that works okay so just check that in case you don't know and let's get back into it so Chuga. let's talk about all of these artifacts and i'll tell you my opinions and then i'll show you some combos of light stones and artifacts that i use personally so let's see black spirit rage max increase now i do believe this one is a very situational one uh so as you guys know black spirit rage is your little bar that counts to 100 or up and basically black spirit is used for z buffing which is to buff yourself temporarily and overall I think it's more used in large scale PvP to the point where like you could do big combos and big plays with it instead of just, you know, getting your 100 faster and so you'd rather have more overall damage until in, instead of just waiting for it to get to 100 and then doing a big burst. So, yeah, I think it's more for PvP large scale, very specific usage. Max stamina, um I've seen zerkers use it because they have like <laughs> infinite stamina basically i don't really see many people using the whole max stamina one at all because like i think the trade-off would be just a lot of damage so i think most people would rather have damage instead of uh, the extra one or two skill movements so situational max hp is i guess more on the pvp side i personally do believe that this should get buffed because right now each one gives 75 hp and that's not really a lot like if you do count it like 75 hp 
just as a baseline is a lot in terms of gear upgrades but the amount of damage you trade off with other artifacts um i do believe the 75 hp is just not worth it so it's like it's not bad it's just there are better options and the only time i'd see people using it is like if they're playing a very defensive build and the extra like 175 times two is good but even then like i think there are better ones even for defensive builds or tanky ones so in the defensive ones the defensive artifacts are the squares and then the offensive ones are circles just to give you a general idea let's go over these real quick monster damage reduction um depends where you are in the game if you're on the higher end where you can actually trade off a little bit of offensive power for defense this one could be okay but even then like if you're at the point where this might matter uh just get more damage or trade it off for like something else all evasion this is a very good one for both pvp and pves and all damage reduction so these are the two most important ones that i think people will like target in general so evasion builds will be using the all evasion ones and the dr ones or like the accuracy dr players which is the majority of us will be using all damage reduction so just keep in mind these are two very important ones uh magic evasion and magic damage reduction like the range all of these the rest of these where it's specific these are less relevant because it's more used in pvp so like if you have a melee damage reduction that only affects it if you're getting hit by a melee so it's kind of like it's good if you're in a 1v1 situation so like basically all of these artifacts that are like magic range and melee reduction and evasion very specific to like small scale 1v1 pvp and if you're just like node warring for example people play all different classes to the point where it's probably better to just get the all evasion and all damage reduction even if it's a little bit less because it just overall is better instead of a specific target so for the defensive players and people who are looking for uh damage reduction invasion just get the all instead of a specific one um extra okay so we're going into the offensive ones where, where these are a little bit more situational but i think most of them are actually good so extra ap against monsters pve exclusive damage against monsters helps you grind faster i use it myself personally magic accuracy accuracy is more for pvp because accuracy is more or less irrelevant in pve and so I believe that accuracy is just a PvP exclusive one, which is always good. And if we were to talk about this, it gives eight accuracy. And if you have two of them, it's 16 basic math. And if you're at high end, getting like 16 accuracy is probably like billions of silver. So I do believe these are very valuable and um, definitely is something worth getting and looking into. So they have accuracy for range, magic and melee. Definitely something to get. And then, of course, the magic AP, ranged, and melee AP, which I believe are good entry-level artifacts because if you are, like, a beginner, this will help you with basically everything and just, like, higher damage output, which is always nice. So get the one for your class. I think these are definitely good entry-level ones. And then if you're a PvPer, think about getting the accuracy. And then if you are... Um, I guess just a pve only person then monster damage is very good and then defensive players all dr and all evasion definitely the ones to go because they are not um class type specific and i guess like honestly these are the orb ones and i think the best one to get is probably hp but even then the extra 75 hp is probably not worth the trade-off of extra damage or like something else like i i do value one damage reduction higher than um a small amount of hp that's just my opinion so now that we covered basically most of the or is it all of the artifacts well anyway all the relevant ones anyway let me give you some examples of what i would use personally and let me give you a breakdown of light stones so first of all light stones go come into four different categories fire is more of the offensive um earth is more defensive wind is more like p 
PVE and utility, I guess that's the best way to put it. So like extra combat XP, skill XP. Um, they also combo in with uh, Flora, which is life skills and just more like stats in general. So Flora is the life skill thing. So for all of you who are trying to level up anything in particular, chances are they have it for basically everything. And um, yeah, this is the life skill one. And the special light stones are ones you use when you go into comboing different light stones to make better effects. So there is some sort of spreadsheet online that you could look up that tells you a list of every single combo you can get, but it's going to be a long video if I were to talk about it. So it's more just a look it up on your own time and just Google like Lightstone combos, Black Desert or something, and then you'll probably just find it in first search. So let's talk about my artifacts and what they do. So in your preset bag, you can have 30 of them, like 30 different combos. And I really think they should raise this number because if you are a life skill alone or a life skiller, this is basically all of them. And if you do everything, so it's like PVP, PVE, it's just not enough. I wish they would have like 20 presets and maybe like double the amount of artifacts you can just have overall. So that's just something that Prolibus, if you ever watch my video, please just increase it just the same way you did with uh, crystals and everything. So yeah, just double this number for people who like playing the game in general and just doing everything. That would be really nice. And then your artifact bag or no, your lightstone bag that just seems to have an infinite inventory. So yeah, anyway, so I'm a Dark Knight. I do magic damage and that's my type. But uh, so we have our magic AP build. And then if you hover over the effects, you can see that. Uh, you probably see that I have the flying kick one. It's because I can't get a strike crystal. I've had an order on it for a while, but I just can't get it. It is what it is. When I get a strike crystal, I'll swap it out. So I do believe this is a good entry level one because all the light stones are cheap. And the strike crystal is 5 billion silver, so obviously not everyone is going to be able to get it. And uh, just in general, having two magic AP uh, artifacts is definitely good for newer players. And then we also have the accuracy version, which I use for double, double accuracy for more PvP. Once again, don't have a strike crystal, otherwise I would put it in there. But also 5 billion silver is kind of a lot. And so, yeah, you see how the combo works, right? So basically, each light stone gives you a certain stat on the thing, right? And then you get the combo for having a certain specific one. It's called Flying Kick for in, in this case, which gives you a bonus of stats. And then if you see the combo at the bottom of the thing, it adds with the individual light stone. So you basically, for example, getting 100 stamina and um, 16 accuracy and 10 AP. You see how that works? It's just additive, like the effect, plus individual light stones, and then you combine them. So for PvE exclusive, I have a few different ones that I use. And if I'm grinding like a lower end area and or something, uh, or actually even higher end areas, even at like Gyphon, I'll use this just because it's a lot of XP. So this one, I have two extra AP against monsters, so PvE exclusive. And then I combined it with the four... Uh, Combat XP light stones, which is 100% plus the dedication of 300%, so that's 400%. I talked about this in one of my videos a while ago, where I went over all the things I used, and there's a video on the channel you guys can look up. I'll try to leave it in the description if I remember, but the best ways to get XP and level up fast in this game, and this is one of the tips I would give to people because these are very cheap to get, and I believe even if you do the tutorial, uh, artifact quest that gives you two uh, or at least one extra AP against monsters. So at least you get one for free and then all you have to do is buy the light stones and then you're good to go. So believe it or not, I actually leveled up from 63 to 65 using this set exclusively because 400% combat XP plus the other buffs that go on. That's a lot. So um, yeah, from 63 to 65, I actually did use these. So the next one I have is my defensive setup. And this is more of an experiment because like, as you guys know, Dark Knights in particular are kind of glass cannon classes. So like, it doesn't really matter, but it does matter in a way. So the effect is called untouchable. 
basically we have three uh defensive stats or three defensive light stones and the heart one which gives extra AP hp so if you look at the stats it's like an extra 200 hp with um 18 all damage reduction and more evasion and special attack evasion so these are all very good in terms of the point of just having them so just more defensive stats and the expensive one is probably going to be the special attack evasion uh lightstone which is probably less than a billion silver at this point but um yeah it's definitely a good one i think an entry level good lightstone and artifact combo that we talked about before was either dr or evasion and then you just get all four uh, waves or iron walls so if you see right here like iron walls all damage reduction and waves is evasion so as an entry level player if you get like two dr or evasion artifacts you can combine that with like four of the specific waves or iron wall and it just gives you more stats and uh, evasion which is always good and then later on as you branch out and you feel like you need more of any other stat i think it's very good to have so yeah in case you guys haven't noticed um let's see let me show you some crystals that i have that work well and the reason why we have those so if we were pvping as you guys know, special attack evasion to 10% is very important. And uh, just having more of them combined on your defensive crystals is very good. And so just having more HP and everything also very nice to have and defensive. Also, if you want to see my crystal setup uh, for everything, I'll leave a link in the description to that as well. So you guys can see it. It's more of an end game video for that one. But I do make some beginner tips and entry level uh crystals that you guys can use as well so hopefully it's helpful for everyone um okay so where were we we talked about those now the few over here are more just like easy level ones and i do a lot of gathering i'm guru 20 gathering and i can hit about 2000 mastery however this one is kind of a expensive setup in my opinion because the mastery the forest one plus the fortune crystal plus the iridescent one that ran me like what uh i guess when i bought it it was like the fortune crystal is five billion the iridescent is probably well i think it's about like 500 mil now but when i bought it, it was not and then the forest crystal was another two billion so i paid a lot for this but it does give like item drop rate and then mastery and an energy recovery which is really nice so this is probably one of the best in slot ones, in my opinion. If you are a pure life skiller and you do a lot of gathering, this is probably one of the ones that I would recommend to you guys. Um, but if you are like a new player, just looking into easy to get artifacts and stuff like that, what I would recommend is probably something along the lines of like, let's say you're a gatherer and you just put the easy gathering XP and four of those in to like five mil, very inexpensive, very easy to get. I use this for cooking as well and here's the thing when it comes to xp versus mastery um at a certain point every time you level up like one time you get five permanent mastery on that character per level so i don't think that exp is a waste i do think that mastery is more expensive just because you save a little bit of time and you don't have to level up in the process but at certain points, um, it is probably worth switching up into XP. But that's like late game, once you're into Guru levels and you can hit 2000 mastery super easy. That's when XP is worth a little bit more so you can downgrade your expensive crystals. And or, I don't know, it's just uh, something that once you're at the end game, you don't need my help. And you can figure it out yourself. But yeah, for alchemy, generally I just have more XP because I want to push it and yeah if you have any questions on specific life skills in general and like what should you do feel free to ask i for the most part have a general idea of which life skills are good profitable and all that stuff and as for sailing and bartering i do that on another character that's why it's low on my main but i do that on another character and unfortunately training is probably my weakest life skill that's like raising horses leveling them up and everything I know how to do it, but I just don't really enjoy doing it. But I know it's very profitable at the higher end, so just keep that in mind. Um, 
this set is what I use for PvE exclusively. This is considered one of the best in slots for most classes. So for Dark Knights in particular, we use Death Blow because uh, crit rate um, on Dark Knight abilities, some of them are like 50% plus bonuses and modifiers. So having Death Blow raises that from like very close to 100% crit rate to 100% crit rate. So... It's one of those late game things that I think is a very expensive because each blade crystal is like 5 billion silver. So it's definitely not a beginner friendly setup. Um, once again, if you are early on, I would just recommend getting those like extra damage to monsters and then adding some sort of like AP uh, artifacts or like these thingies. Just add some more AP to like entry level XP crystals and then I, realistically you'll be fine. And these are more just for like the min-max uh, high-end grind spots where you really want to get that 100% crit rate and it will improve your trash and overall grinding. But it is very expensive to the point where it's just like when you should transition is when you think you make enough silver to uh, make the difference, I guess. And then as for fishing, it's just fishing. I, I should probably just actually finish putting crystals into there. But um, yeah, those are more of the crystals that I use and artifacts. So like this one is, huh, how do I put this? If you know what kind of players you're PVPing against, like are they evasion builds, then obviously you would put on accuracy artifacts. If they are just like squishy DR players, um, you might want to just to add more straight up magic AP and just one shot them if you can. Um, so. When it comes to PvP, it's more situational and how you build your character. So if you like more defensive stuff, then that's probably good. And I guess right now I have the death blow on because I do a lot of uh, grinding every now and then. So if you're a life skiller, let's talk about this for a second. In your crystal setups, I don't really talk about life skills as much because it seems pretty straightforward. But I guess for newer players... When you have your setup, you use all your crystal slots. You either get mastery or XP. Um, I think as a beginner player, I would honestly recommend uh, more XP till you get to the guru point. And then once you're at guru, you could start transitioning into mastery until you get better gear. And then once you hit the 2000 bracket, then you decide where you want to go. So anyway, um, Mostly just look for light stones on the market and then figure out what you do and or search or Google like a artifacts and lightstone combos, which is good for you. But if you have any questions, feel free to ask. I'm tr happy to help you guys. And before we head out, I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you're new to your channel, hit that subscribe button. Love to see you come back. I make videos for beginners, returning players and people who are just looking to get better at the game in general. So hopefully my videos help you. And also one thing to mention before I head out is if you are looking to get into the game, I do have a code on screen or in the description. So if you're thinking about buying pearls or a coins, I think the same thing and or upgrading the package of your game from like the base to like the conquerors edition or something, I use my code John law. It's not case sensitive. So if you do, I get a small portion of what you spend, and that would be really appreciated. But even if you don't spend any money on this game and you want to play free to play, that's cool with me. I just hope these videos are educational and you found it helpful. But that's all for today. And uh, thanks again so much for watching, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.